This video will demonstrate how to identify Rexnord's mat top chains. As the name implies, chain identification is the process in determining specific properties of your mat top and tabletop chains. Doing so will provide useful information, such as the chain type and product number, the chain width and pitch, and the chain material. These pieces of information are critical when troubleshooting is necessary and will expedite the reorder process. There are two general types of chains, tabletop and mat top. Mat top chains have a modular design in which individual links are bricked together to provide a continuous surface. They also include a pin that extends the full width of the chain. Tabletop chains have a fixed width design. Links are held together by a pin that does not run the full width of the chain. The pin acts as a hinge that is centered on the chain. The flat top catalog is a great resource to help with chain identification. The flat top catalog is broken up into different sections, and each section is color coded for added convenience. The gray section indicates mat top chains, and the blue section refers to tabletop chains. This video will demonstrate how to identify Rexnord's mat top chains. The easiest way to identify your mat top chain is to locate the chain series number. On most mat top chains, there will be a chain series number molded into the sprocket pockets of the chain. For mat top chains, this is a four digit number. In some cases, you may encounter a four digit number, followed by a backslash, and a two digit number. Here we have the chain 5705, but the chain series number reads 5705 backslash 06. This is to simplify the manufacturing processes within the same series of chain. The first three digits of the chain number describe the chain series, while the last digit describes the surface style. There are seven possible surface styles of mat top chain. They include nub top, perforated safety top, roller top low backline pressure, solid top, perforated, open area, and safety top. If the chain series number is illegible or unreachable due to running production, we can identify the chain by measuring the pitch, chain height, and width of the chain. For mat top chains, lay the chain flat. Use a tape measure to measure the pitch and height of the chain. For chain pitch, measure from the center line of the pin to the center line of an adjacent pin. For chain height, lay the chain on its side and measure it from the top of the chain to the underside of the chain. If you are going to be reordering the chain, Measuring the chain width is crucial, as a missized chain will not operate in your application properly. To measure the width of your chain, measure from the outermost part to outermost part of the chain. The last item to identify may be the most difficult, the material of the chain. For most general conveying applications, the most common materials used are low friction acetyl-based materials. Here are just a few examples of possible acetyl-based chains. The most common material used is our high-performance acetyl. The HP material is used in numerous general conveying or high-speed applications where fragile or unstable containers are being conveyed. In unique applications, special materials may be needed. Identifying these materials may be more difficult due to the fact that multiple materials come in the same color. For example, each of the shown colors are options for our HT material. The best way to determine the material of your mat top chain is by identifying the environmental factors the chain will be exposed to. Typically, high temperature applications will utilize our HT material. This table gives a quick overview of several types of environmental factors that may affect the choice of chain material. If you have any doubts in the proper material selection for your application, 
refer to the black section of the flat top catalog or contact application engineering for assistance. By being able to properly identify your mat top chain, customers can save time and money when reordering chain or troubleshooting problems that may arise during operation. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com or contact Flattop Application Engineering.